more distractions, Gurr. Attack the human! This time on a dangerously high setting. Yes, sir! Hello everybody and welcome to Kelly Arts. Continuing on the whole Gurr thing, this time I'm focusing on making a version of Gurr that behaves... normally? If you've seen my prior Gurr video, you have a good sense of what the process is. The knowledge, it fills me. It is neat. If you haven't seen my prior Gurr video, go watch my prior Gurr video. I gotta sing the Doom song now! Doom, 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 doom! As you can see, I bought a new clay pasta press. I thought I would demo it here, though it looks really awkward. That's because it is, unless you use the clamp it comes with to lock it down to a table. Time to add armature wire to the head. I shouldn't have any issues with just using a short length of wire here and not going through the entire body to the base. But fun fact, no. More on that later. I had mentioned, in my previous video, that building the body for Gur was interesting because the shape is weird. This remains the case, as it's the same body. Funny how that works. Did you know that? After baking the body, I decided to replace the armature wire in the head with something a bit thicker, and then fit it into the neck. Excellent! I use a piece of clay that looks like a scarf and blend the head and body together seamlessly. I do a bit of creative shaping with my Dremel, then sand some more. I'll spare you the details. Let's make some holes to attach the arms and legs. Gurr has balls at his shoulder joints, so I'll roll some clay flatten one side, then use some thin wire to attach it to the body. Decided to go with thicker gauge wire for his legs, as this girl will be standing and I wanted him to not fall over. He'll have an action pose, so I'll put a nice bend in his knees. Then I make sure I make the legs way too long, so that when he's standing next to the others, he's clearly the wrong height. We call that pre-planning. In my heart, I think I was leaving extra space to mount to the base, but then I forgot I already sank wire into my holder, so that was unneeded. After gooping his leg bones and glue, I then split open the cylinders I made for his legs like overcooked hot dogs, then wrap them together. I have such a way with words, don't I? Right now, he looks like he's wearing bell-bottoms. A little alcohol to smooth things out. Alcohol, the solution and cause of so many of life's problems. This girl's eyes are little half-moon shapes, so let's make those. I'll start by pressing a hollow circle thingy do into my clay to get a not hollow circle. Because I use an improvised cutting tool, I have to clean up my mess before proceeding. Circular perfection. Now I'll use my scalpel to cut the circle in half. Arranged like this, they look fairly sinister, but we'll go with determined. Time to mark out where they should go. I'll drill a couple of holes to embed some thin armature wire. After gooping the head, I slide on the eyes and verify that they are sufficiently determined looking.
Then some obligatory smushing to merge things and then into the oven. Like with the earlier burr, a center where his antenna goes and drill a hole to anchor. Then since the drill is out, I'll drill holes into his arms for the shoulder balls. I cut off some length of armature wire for both arms. Then realize one of them was too short and do it again. Just like with the legs, I'll roll out a length of forbidden sausage, slice down the middle, and embed the arm bones. It looks like he's been skipping arm day regularly, but fear not. And we want to pump you up! We'll get to that later. Like his legs, his arms are going to be in an action pose, like he's ready to defend his master. I'll roll up a couple of balls for his hands, poke some holes, and add his pointy little fingers. Then pop it into the oven to save my progress. What's the worst that could happen? So I went to pull them out of the oven last night and this one was leaning against the oven door and when I opened the door it leaned forward and I couldn't find the oven mitt fast enough and it tore out. So now we're going to have to do some kind of repair on it. Yay, I was almost done. Fun, fun. Broken! Can you hear me? Oh, I'll have to go upstairs and get another brain for the house, and then I'll fix you. Since I have this opportunity to work on Gur without his big head in the way, I decided to bulk up his arms a bit. Why is his head so big? I roll a thin piece of clay and cut some long rectangles. Why is his head so big? After adding some bacon bond, I smoothed the clay over his skinny chicken wings of arms to give them more heft. Clearly he had been skipping arm day. Never skip arm day. And while I'm at it, makes sense to pad his couch sitting muscles as well. Now let's give him a hand, or two. Yes, I've done that joke before. We'll just call that a callback and move on. All right, stalling time is over, so let's deal with this mess. We'll start by getting rid of the debris of my prior failure so I can make room for great success. Some junk must have fallen to the hole, so I need to use the drill to clear it out. Looks like it'll fit. I'll stuff in more clay to fill in the gaps and to give the armature wire something to hold on to. I totally didn't fill in the hole. Looks like a good fit, so it's time to smooth out the joint for his neck, using the best view for the camera. And totally forgot to film the antenna, but you've seen that before, so moving on. Report upgrade status. Sir, guidance check in place and fully functional. Sir. I give him a nice base coat with several layers of patented Gur Gray.
Afterwards, it's time to get out the red paint and start giving him his unique hue. No blue balls for this girl. I did go to Michael's and picked out what I thought would be the right color. There were colors that were close, but nothing exact, so I ended up mixing my own concoction. I added a bit of neon pink to the mixture to give it a little pop in the light. The line work for his mouth and arm banding is once again the airbrush black paint because it just flows so well. I added a little bit of darker gray on top of his eyes to give him that je ne sais quoi. You know, bring out a little bit of his goth side. Once the paint is dry, I brought out the UV resin to apply to his eyes. I find the resin really makes them shine nicely and gives focus to his face. Genius! Now, all we need is a home. Let's see. In my last video, you saw me mount Gert to the base he shares with all three versions. So now it's time to show how it was created. I started by making a series of tiles out of clay. Being a key step, it's natural that I totally forgot to film that part. Oopsie. Your methods are stupid. Your progress has been stupid. Your intelligence is stupid. For the sake of the mission, you must be terminated. That's a bit harsh, Gert. You settle down while I show what I did to make the base. I started by trimming the already baked pieces into a proper square shape, then sanding them down. I bought this wooden disc at the craft store and covered it with some black 3.0. Are you insane? That remains to be seen. The tiles in Zim's living room are gold and red, so I'll paint half the tiles in each of these colors. The gold tiles were painted lying flat down on the silica mat, but afterwards I had to pick them up and paint the edges. With the red ones I thought it might be quicker, you know, just to pick them up and hold them while I painted. But fun fact, no. Once the tiles were dry and ready to be mounted, I took the disc to try to find the center point the best I could. Then I drew out the horizontal and vertical axis so I can keep the tiles as square as possible. The tacky glue worked well to secure them, but that bottle was almost out and getting any glue to come out was a pain in the axis. When I got to the edges, I had to hand shape each individual piece. Went about as well as you can expect. Counting this girl was more successful than last time. No extra holes in the mat. Excellent! And now, as expected, the glamour shots. Praise me! Praise me! 
Thanks for sticking through to the end. The final video in this series should be out soon, and I for one am excited to see the results. See you in the next one.